Okay, cool. Hello, and we're back. Testing. Oh, Bye. Pat, we're back. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can we can no test count down or anything. No, well, <laughs> we can test a little bit. You got the timer ready and everything, right? Like. No, oh. I was not prepared. Oh well. That's okay. Surprise! We're here we're back already. Oh my god. Well, because uh, it was fresh in my mind, what I was saying to stick um, was what we should pro what I should probably should do now. Because we finished, uh, we we have the war with Scotland is on pause, right? It's not a failure; it's a success in progress. Um, but we need to work on our economy and everything back home first, because we're not doing so hot as far as like gold generation, spreading a religion, yeah. all that, all that fun crap. So yeah, um, the Vikings are not doing so hot. Oh man, and we're spending so much money per turn maintaining um, this giant military, military that is Jesus. slightly outdated because we're in the medieval era. So yeah. yeah, uh, we need to work on that. Um, so probably just start getting some of these units back to uh, our place to heal. Uh, yep. Our place would have been here, but people of Ire didn't want to be Vikings. So they decided we're going to rebel, and I decided to burn their town down. Set it on fire. Yep. We, oh, God. We're not going to bring that back, are we? That <laughs> no, was, no, no, no. That was <laughs> legitimately painful. To, to, it was to, fun, though. It was fun. I'm glad that you had a good time. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Had a great time. To put a city here. Yeah, why not? Cool. And then, obviously, just use my missionary to spread this religion. Uh, because it's a tithe religion, that just means that I get money for uh, people following the religion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Might as well. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, everybody likes extra money. Everybody likes extra... I think that one just means that I've got a lot of cities. So oh, a good thing. That's congrats, but, I guess. I don't. Know. Uh, but what I'm gonna hmm. focus on is mostly uh, rebuilding, trying to stabilize uh, everything. <laughs> and the tanks by oh, the man, tank. what a what a bad time to actually worry about that because. Uh, actually, let me let me sort this out. But what a bad time to worry about uh, economy because all of my uh, swordsman units are now uh, able to be promoted to yeah. uh, berserkers, which are really, really good. Yeah. So that's a little bit up actually I do all times. That's a little bit upsetting. Actually, better and see because who doesn't like harbors? We're probably going to use harbors a bunch for our economy. I mean, you have a lot of coastal cities. So yeah. mm -hmm. Get some harbors going. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Matter of fact, and uh, this is my capital city. It's pretty far from the coast. No, I can't. Touch. I can't build a harbor in this one. Um, but okay, so let's see. You build it on the lake. Uh, <laughs> well, I I suppose I could. I don't have any. Um, I don't have enough uh people in my town yeah. to support having that. Guys, we have this amazing harbor. It's in a lake. And then, if I remember correctly, monumentality golden age means that my builders get to move faster. It means and you. Can explain. Uh, my builders moving faster means that I'm able to get them where they need to construct faster, so I need to start working on getting extra. Oh, is that what me you mean by move faster? Oh. They get to the construction they site faster. They can get to where they're going quicker. Well, are you sassing me? Dude, we just started. Of course not. You're already <laughs> being a sassy boy. Uh. I, I I don't know, man. I, I really don't want a repeat of what happened last... Uh, <laughs> You don't want a string of ire jokes? Oh, God. Terrible. Well, <laughs> it was... And, I mean, to be fair, I did ask for it um, in the comments. So, yeah. like, I should have I should have seen that coming. Should have seen it coming. But, yeah, it was... It was oh, man. You guys uh, really like making the same joke over and over. Hey, it's funny. Repetition is funny, you know? <laughs> One person you say says that. a joke, but the other person says it a little louder. I guess. You know, it's... Well, you it's say comedy. that, but then when Stallion makes the same joke over and over, you're just like, hey, man, you need to tone it back. Well, so. yeah, because, I mean, you know. Yeah. No, Stallion. no, actually, I don't know. What What do you mean? Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Stallion, he's a child and thereby not funny. <laughs> thereby right? proxy, he is he's inferior. Just, he's not able to be funny mm -hmm. at all. Oh, look at that, um, you got some walls up, nice. So, yeah, so what I'd like to do would be, in every city, uh, I need to have either a commercial hub or a harbor. 
uh, because those are the districts that will give me extra trade route capacity. Um, so, that rainforest, get that crap out of here. Here's about environmental. Environment, what is that? Yeah. Does it make me money? No. <laughs> Well, there is a uh, a climate uh, that it doesn't really have that many effects at this stage of the game, but later in the game it will have you know climate change is a thing. We'll we'll start melting some ice caps, flooding some areas. You have to build some flood walls. Mm -hmm. um, natural disasters will get a little bit worse. Not that much worse though. It's it. And then I foresee... A game that we played where my one of my towns was built on an island, and by the time I was able to establish it, uh, that island had basically flooded, so it was just a single tile for that entire city. Hmm. I couldn't build flood walls. I couldn't awful. build flood walls fast enough. Yeah. Interesting. So Gorgo's upset at me, and I'm not sure... Why? Because I didn't give up any no items. Grievances. I didn't give up any items in the peace deal that I made. Uh, with... What's her hidden agenda? I don't know. Okay. I need to reach access level open to see the first agenda. She's also apparently friendly with Scotland, which I was hoping that I would be able to sabotage that, but it doesn't. Hmm. It doesn't look that way. It looks like she's still going to maintain some somewhat friendly relations with Scotland, which is not super. Not great. Not, great, not, not good. It's not what I want. I would prefer if they started not being happy at each other. Yeah. Uh, on the bright side, uh, I you should did... write a note to Scotland saying, "Hey, hey. Gorgo thinks you're dumb." Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see. On the bright side, uh, I got this great scientist. That I can Who is the great scientist? I didn't even look at his name, so he will again. They weren't that great. Once again, yeah. Um, and then I could upgrade these guys to Berserkers right now, but I'm actually going to wait on that. Since we're not actively at war, that guy over there, yeah. we're there's not no actively at to. war, it's not, there's not a, any real reason I would just spend a lot of money if I did. Down there. Uh, just let's imagine see. next turn, Scotland Besides and uh, Rome both declare war on you. It's, it's, that's Greece, not Rome. They're the same. <laughs> Yeah, they may as well be the same. Are they? Roman? Romans took Greek mythology. They did. They, they tooled it for themselves. They borrowed... basically took all of the uh, Greek culture. Yeah, yeah. They super. They super liked at, at, at least the pantheon, if I remember correctly. They shuffled around everyone's names except for Apollo, because I guess Apollo was just Apollo was Apollo. Apollo was a was a bro. Um, no, they took they took uh, all of Greek mythology for themselves. Shuffled around everybody's names and then said, "This is actually our pantheon now." <laughs> so, yeah, pretty much. What do we got? We got a drought. Like, but it's oh, not... you guys have. Uh... Oh, who's the Greek god of war? I can't think. Uh, Ares and Athena. There's two. Well, I thought Ares was Roman. A no, Ares was Greek. Um, shoot, what? Googling it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably the best way to go about it. Google you know, that so that we're not. No, here. Ares was definitely Roman. Was he? Yeah. Mars. Mars was also. I thought. Wait. Yeah. So Mars. No, yeah, no, Mars is you're the. You're correct. <laughs> Ares is the Greek god of war and courage. Mars. Oh, Mars is the Roman version. Mars is the Roman one. After. Yeah, because they named a lot of theirs after the planets. Well, I, mean, I think it was the other way around. They named I think... the planets after the gut. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, we're we're getting to that point, aren't we? I did that upgrade I don't know. mostly to get the metal casting uh, upgrade, but but whoever named uh, Uranus was a genius. Did he? Yeah. Um, have you ever seen a, a close up of Uranus? I have. Did you know that Uranus has a ring around it? Yeah. And uh, uh, the image was so clear that you could see all of the bumps and crevices and mountain tops and everything. It was great. Wow. Um. That's, See all the spots. That's pretty impressive. You know what? Someday I'd like to go visit Uranus. Yeah. Go ahead I mean, and evangelize. you have to be really special to go to Uranus. Uh, so um, what I did there essentially was I built an apostle unit and I spent it to get a new belief for my religion. Right. We're playing a video game. Which me <laughs> yes, yes. So we've got yes, we Buddhism, Catholicism, Eastern Orthodoxy. And uh, then chariots from space. <laughs> Those are the four oh religions that you can pick from. Um, 
Yeah, those are the four. Terrible. We're the first one to uh, evangelize a new belief. So there are four types yeah. of beliefs, and we have two currently, and I can I get to pick a third. So I, I I'm you sure that there's start a name. Pushing your religion a lot more though. Yeah, I'm sure there's a name for them. Uh, I don't remember what they are, but the one that I like is Holy Order. It just makes everything cheaper to buy, um, and it yeah. stays cheaper to buy the whole time. That's uh, good. Which means, uh, on the one hand, I can fast track my, uh, like I'm gonna be able to evangelize a new belief faster, um, yep. so I can get a fully upgraded religion. And on the other hand, it means that if I get into a religious throwdown uh, against another civilization, all of my units are cheaper, so I can afford to lose. Them. Which yeah. I, you know, I'm not gonna try to lose. Them, but there's religious combat in this game. Where hey priest, go and fight that guy. It's okay. You're I, cheap. I've been denounced. He called oh. me a feckless idiot. Feckless. I don't even know what that idiot. means. So I like. <laughs> should I no. be insulted? Should I be? Very Denouncing just means that he's really, really upset with me, and also that he could prepare for war against me theoretically. I'm not sure yeah. how bright of an idea that is, given how the last war right. went. Um. But I would probably need some siege units, like some pretty serious siege units. My last strategy was, oh, let's spam a crap ton of cavalry. And he responded with uh, counter units cavalry, was the spearman. Yep. Um, so that war didn't go super well for me. Uh, well, but you know. If we went back to war, which we probably should, um, I would want to mainline my berserker troops. Uh, so that means I need to get some gold so I can upgrade these swords. But these guys already have promotion crap on them. Yeah. Get those guys up there, get them into Sterling, burn some stuff down, and maybe even take the city. It is the mark of an educated mind. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, boy, so. education, education. So this one here, uh, this allows me to use. Where is it? Not feudal contract. It was serfdom. 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 Builders get extra build actions. I combine that yeah. with the faster moving builders. And that means I get to upgrade all my tiles very quickly. Then they become Bob Builders. They be <laughs> They can fix it. Yes, they can. They can fix it. They become the opposite of Wreck-It Ralph. They become Fix-It Field. Yeah? You like that? My joke was better. Oh. Uh, argue. I, I feel like mine was... I feel like mine was on par. It was pretty close. Oh, okay. okay. Fair enough. Pretty close, right? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph was such a good movie. It was. We need to. Should we, we should do a. Um, we should do a watch party with Wreck It Ralph. We should do a watch party with a lot of the old. Movies. The old. Uh, I guess. If you consider Wreck It Ralph to be an old movie. That old. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't know. When did little... it come out? Uh. Like 2011, right? That was like 12 or 13. Well, that. <sighs> is it All okay? Is... is it okay that I turn you into my Google stuff machine? Wreck-It Ralph came out in 2012. 2012. Okay, so I was one year old. Oh, no. I was, uh... Yep. Oh, Hunza. Hunza doesn't want to be my buddy. Let's see if I can... Thank you. That. Had good old John C. Riley as Ralph. Hmm. He did an excellent job. Yeah. I think that he did an excellent job. I don't know all that much about, uh, being in movies, but... Like, Wreck-It Ralph was one of my very favorite... Oh, man, and the, the, the music that came out of that. Um, like, the bug hunt theme. I still listen uh, to that to this day. The, the one from... Um, oh, what was it? Hero's Duty. So, the, yeah, the, game, the, the scene where they're shooting a bunch of bugs. You said duty. Yes, I did. Yeah. It's one of the jokes that... You gotta wash does. your hands after coming out of a video game called Hero's Duty. Yeah. Um... Now the the music from from that uh, it's called Bug Hunt and it was made by Skrillex. And oh, that's right. Yeah. That that was one of my favorite. Tra I mean, it still is. That is one of my it's favorite. It's still a tracks. good song. Yeah. It's a banger. I listen to it a lot while I play Hell Divers too. Is, dude, it's a song for killing bugs too. Like it's literally called Bug Hunt. Make a playlist of songs for killing bugs too. I uh, you and it's joke. nothing but that song over and over. It's okay. You joke. I do have a Helldivers 2, like, playlist specifically for me to kill bugs, too. That's terrible. Why is it terrible? It's such a... It's... 
isn't the music in game like already super pump, pump up? Yes, music? and okay, so it is good, but it is a little bit. And the medieval era is almost like, repetitive. It's very repetitive. You get you get used to it, um, and then you're just like, well, okay, because you fight two different factions. You fight the bugs, and then you fight the bots, and each faction has one uh, settlers going, I guess. Like one soundtrack that they yeah use. they have one soundtrack each which um is like it, it gets a little bit after a while you're just like oh man can I uh. sure. I, I wonder if later on down the road uh, uh, and this track. is after the whole Sony debacle that we're talking about this yes, um, yes it is and they're making the cape right uh um, I'm not sure if they're making oops I brought the one. Bought the wrong one, I know it was okay. a joke they were they were gonna make a cape out of the downvotes from Steam. <laughs> Somebody made a comment saying the only way to get the cape is to link a PSN account. That would be <laughs> honestly that would be a power play by Sony if they were to do that. It would be annoying, yeah. but it would be really funny. <laughs> It'd be really funny. Be like, by the way, the, we don't give a shit. Cape, basically. Like, I don't why. I don't okay. know. Okay. I, I said doing? explore automatically, and they said, sure, <laughs> let's go get attacked by uh, the ocean. Barbarian Galley. Hold on. Do I not have... So I... I, I, I guess I don't. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh you have no trade routes, by the way. In mind. Uh, none that are active. I believe... You that have one none. I just moved, and then I'm producing oh. two trade units. Um, gotcha. Okay, so what I need to do is get a fucking long ship. Because the only long ship that I have are these guys that are just like, yeah. I should probably. Also, I accidentally backed out of the timer. What are we at? Uh, about sixteen minutes, I think. Okay. I believe we're at about. 16 we take a break. Minutes. We should take a break. Um, and we'll should come we? back. Yeah, I mean, should. Uh, oh. It's... Yeah. I I, don't make me second guess myself. We'll take a break. We'll come back to this later. Are we taking a break? We are taking a break. We are. We are taking a break. Are you sure? I. What what is this? What <laughs> just like an intervention? So You're just like, well, if you, you take sure breaks, you want to take a break. We're taking break. We're taking a break. I'll, okay, I'll talk to you guys next time. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. What is up with you, man? <laughs>